I don't know, Judy. Looks like a nice day out here to me. Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you doing today? Hope uh, it's as nice of a day where you are as it is uh, here where I am. It's, uh, I'm a little bit north of Dallas, Dallas, Texas. It is the end of July and it is only 93 degrees outside. It's almost as nice of a day for flying as it was yesterday, but I didn't manage to get out flying yesterday, so that's, uh, that might be a bummer. I don't think it's a bummer. I think it's fine. A little bit of a breeze. We've got some plenty of shade to sit under, so it should be fine. Uh, hopefully we're going to have some fun. I'm planning on doing a lot of boring flying today. Judy lost me. Did you see her? Judy! Judy, we could double click on my face while this mailman drives by. There he goes. Look at him. You can't see him. I saw him. I just published a blog about the cutting the prototype of my 5 inch frame. And I keep calling it a 5 inch frame even though I cut a 6 inch because I know most of you guys don't care about 6 inch frames. And it'll be fine at 5 inches, I'm sure. We're gonna wait until we get past the stop sign before I talk to you anymore, Judy, because we don't want to hit anybody. Don't hit anyone. That's important. Drive safe. Drive safe, Judy. All my batteries are charged, or at least what's left of my batteries. My uh, my stable of batteries is getting depleted little by little over time here, and I'm getting towards the end. It's gonna be time to order new batteries. China Hobby Line had a deal on, uh, I think they were 1,000 milliamp 6S packs for 21 something, and I almost ordered, you know, 10 of them, 12 of them, something of them. But I talked myself out of it because I haven't been doing a good job of getting out flying. I need to get out flying more. Less designing, more flying, Judy. Even if it's just a few packs a day, every day, I need to get out and get on the sticks. Get on the sticks, Judy! been saying that every time I come out here, every battery I fly feels like it's just a warm-up battery, and I'm a little bummed out about that. I need to do better. I need to practice the things that I should be able to do without thinking about it. building over here got quite a bit taller. I should have flipped you around so you could take a look at it. Not even a coming soon sign. They're not going to tell me if it's a Whataburger or something. It's quite a bit sunnier than it was yesterday. That'll be good for the footage. Yesterday it was, uh, I was only out for 20 minutes out outside of the car yesterday. And... I would guess it was 12 or 15 mile an hour wind while I was standing out there. It's probably just what it was gusting too, but today it said it was only going to be 3 or 4 mile an hour wind. But it was cloudy yesterday. I was going to get some dismal footage, I think. Today should look really nice. I have an ND filter on my Session 5. It's a cheater ND filter. It's just a piece of window tint. I don't even know what percentage tint it is, but it's tinted. Do you think we'll do a good job practicing today, Judy? Maybe we'll have, maybe I'll do enough practice on my first uh, six batteries that I can do something fun on my seventh. <laughs>
Hopefully practicing is fun, Judy. Don't tell anyone practicing isn't fun, because it's fun. You gotta look on the wrong side of you, Judy, because you can't see the lines. I can see one over here, but not over there. You gotta back right up to, oh, Judy, she's losing. Judy, what are you doing to me here? Good gravy, Judy. Should I wear my sunglasses out there too? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. Judy, we came out to the golf course here to fly. It's a fantastic day. We're going for pizza. We're going to the, the Rock in Wiley. On, uh, that's not 14th Street anymore by the time you get out there. But we're going to say it's 14th Street. Because why not? I almost only flew one battery. We were just hanging out and talking. It was uh, not that kind of day. But then flew almost all my batteries by the time we left. And it was a good day. I didn't even crash somehow. I don't understand that. No crashes. At the stop sign up ahead, I have to take a left. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. And that's a bummer. I don't like taking a left at a stop sign. It's a busy street. can't remember if the street we have to go across here is uh, four lanes or six lanes wide, but it's one or the other. I flew my Falcon all day long today, Judy. Put three of my crummy dying 6S batteries through it. I put two or three 5S batteries through it. I missed my opportunity here, Judy. And the good news is that I think I did identify a bad motor. It's uh, the same one that I've been wondering about. It makes a tiny little crunchy sound when you, uh, you know, when you give it a flick, give it a spin. At least it has been for a while, and this quad's been flying funny. Not, it's not the frame's fault, but it's this motor, I think. Every now and then, it, you know, at the end of a snap roll or something, it twitches, or at the end of a a punch, it twitches a bit, it's a little weird, but I have an extra motor at home, so we'll replace that motor and see how, see if it fixes it. It didn't, didn't twitch at all today, so it's not an easy problem to troubleshoot, because it doesn't always happen. I think I said I was going to practice mundane, boring things today, but I didn't. I, I did a bad job. Maybe I was a little repetitive. You know, and I went in and did a power loop and did it stupid, like, uh, 
you know, too high or something. Too high, too far back, too anything, too wrong, not the right shape. I just did another power loop and then did another power loop. Same thing over and over again. I was doing better by my last battery. Did a little proximity around the, the little pavilion that they have there. We were lucky. A lot of times people are parked under that pavilion, and that's a nuisance. I can't fly under it if there's cars parked under there. That'd be uh, rude, right? 